it finally here. It came. It is here. 980 Pro up to 7,000 megabyte per second read. Uh, Gen 4, PCI Gen 4 NVMe M.2 SSD. I have right now. Hey, yeah, whatever. I know what I'm doing sometimes. So we're going to go Winsat disk. And the speeds that I have right now are going to be um, so roughly 820 uh, sequential read and 807 write, which I don't understand how that works because the last time I did this, it read like 2000 some change when sat disk. Let's see it again. So there's that. That's from D drive or C drive. 807, but if I do win, sad disk, dash drive, D, which is gonna be my 2.5. Um, it's gonna read like, I think 400 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 472 and 392. So that's what we're looking at right here. Strange, 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 strange. When set disk. Let's try it again. It's probably gonna read. See, that was weird. It was reading like two thousand some change the other day. Oh well, we'll try to figure something out. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clone the drive and put this one in there and see what happens. Okay, here it is on this weird crystal testing thing so it's gonna read it read and write read and write read and write come on read and write one gig it's a 52 percent capacity 877 that's weird it was reading like 1500 last night 2300 i don't get it Eight seventeen. All right, whatever. We're done. And there it is. It's tiny. It's freaking awesome. Whoa. All right. So it says to go to Samsung.com forward slash SSD, and you can download uh, Samsung Magic or whatever. Oh, Magician. Whatever it's called. Data migration. Sweet. All right. Time to party. All right, so I went to samsung.com, found Magician, then it says download files. Let's see if that happens. Download, uh, integrated software, SSD, Samsung Magician. What the front door? How do I do this? Oh boy. Okay, so data migration. What did that do? Oh crud. I gotta do all that? Doesn't say anything about that. Data migration. All right. Data migration. Okay, so I'm gonna download this this one here, version four. It's downloading. Okay, cool beans. All right. So yeah, next. Yes, installing. Yada yada yada. Yep. yep. Install. I accept because if I don't accept, it ain't gonna work. You wanna change this? Yeah, I don't wanna care about Just pop me up over one over here. Click the widget to finish. Sweet. Alright, so I'm gonna put that guy in here. Which is, and this is, ooh, is it gonna fit? Holy crap, barely. Hmm. Anyways, it's a little transfer case. It's pretty cool, it's got LEDs and everything. So I'm gonna clone it. All right, so data migration is already on. There's the drive. I'm gonna pop it in this little dual heel. This is a really tiny SSD. This is the, the big pro version. I hope it really fits. I didn't even think about that. Dang it. This is the enclosure, it's pretty cool, the little LEDs. 
So, so LEDs light up, looks pretty cool. All right, hang tight. And there it is, it fits in there. We're gonna close it in with this little box here. We're gonna close it, there you go. It's gonna fit, oh no, is it not fitting? Darn it. Damn it, baby. Well, you know what, it's gonna fit there. It's okay. We'll just use this right here. Cause I'm gonna clone this puppy one way or another. It's got USB-C. All right, my southern engineering thing's in. USB-C, hook it up to USB-C. USB-C. And I always put this uh, on the fast one, so it's gonna always say like SS on the side of the uh, side of the laptop. It does make a difference. Like this is the, just the regular 2.0. This side's a 3.0 on this, on this end. If you're to run a speed test on this device out here, you'll get like 30 megabytes a second. You'll speed it over here, you get up to 550 megabytes a second, which is the capacity of the state of drive or the 3.0, which confuses me whenever I say up to 10 gigs of drive and transfer. I don't understand how that crap works. Look at my LED lights. I'm in no way, shape, or form professional at doing this. I'm just doing it on my own. Don't break your stuff by copying me. Just go to professional like Jay's two cents or something. He's good. I'm just doing this on my own, for my own fun. Okay, so I got it to read. Oh, God dang it. Let's try that again, man. All right, so I got it to read. We're gonna do the Samsung 980 Pro one terabyte. All right, so we're gonna clone it. Hopefully it doesn't take two hours and 55 minutes, but the last one I went from this little bitty guy, from this little, little turd right here. And it did the, uh, I went to a P2. I don't know, it didn't take very long because I don't have a lot of memory in it or I don't have a lot of stuff on it. So let's see, um, I'm gonna go from Windows C to, I wanna do that one. All right, we're gonna go ahead and clone the drive. Be back in a little bit, oh, let's see what happens. And we're gonna go boom. Okay, we're gonna go, I need to charge mine, boom. The computer was shut down after migration in 20 seconds when cloning data starts. All target drives will be deleted and cannot be recovered. I don't care about that. Also, files running on source drive that are open cannot be cloned. Please close all running. All right, so I'm about to close everything. So we're gonna close this puppy. Close that window there. We're gonna close that window there. Nothing is running in the background. Yeah, all right, cool. All right, let's do it, man. Oh, I need to get a charger. Okay. <laughs> oh shit, it was recording. <laughs> okay, so it's charging my uh God, everything's dusty whenever it's on here. So my computer's du charging dusty. Uh God, why does it look dusty? Anyways, I'll clean it up later. I'll put it in a, I'll throw it in a washer or something like that. Please don't do that. All right, be right back a little bit. All right, so it does say two and a half, two hours, whatever. Two plus. I don't think it'll take that long, but whatever. We'll be back. Good God in heaven, why is it so damn dusty? Look at that. Maybe I could put like Windex or something. I think that'll work. Okay, so now it says only one hour. Earlier it said two hours and 30 minutes. We'll come back in a minute. All right, uh, so it's 44 more minutes. I don't get it. Well, this is halfway done. It is almost done. I don't know why it says four. Oh, that's how long it's been running, stupid. So 97%, we are almost golden by guys, guys. Blah. All right, about to take this apart. Um, like I said, I'm not showing you how to do it. 
I'm just showing you what I'm doing. Don't follow my rules. I'm just doing my own thing here. I've watched Jay's Two Cents and a couple other videos on how to do it. You're supposed to discharge and make sure you're standing on static mats or static free mats and all that good stuff. But this is my PC, so I'll handle it if it breaks. If my PC breaks. All right. Well, this Lenovo was easy as hell to take apart. So it just pops off. The screws even stay on. They're not like mother PC, mother laptop. Got a little bitty fan and all kinds of stuff. And it's neat. There's my other WD green. I'm going to put in a WD blue later on it. Got one terabyte just to have something extra. So this one, I guess it removes. So I've got two screws I got to remove. Oh crap. All right, so I got a P2 Crucial in this puppy. Take that out. Oh yeah, there she is. Drop that puppy right in there. I guess this is like a heat sink or something. so shaky right now. Yeah, there's like a heat sink. I wonder if a third party would fit on here. So for my PS5, I put in that uh, WD Black uh, 870WN. And yeah, that thing was badass. We're at like 6,500 and it came with a like damn near half inch. I almost didn't fit the lid on that thing. So I'm gonna remove this one later once I get this going. I'm gonna plug this thing here and use as a backup drive that way it um I just use as my backup drive and I don't know what the heck this is gonna do now because I had it no I ain't gonna put it there I don't know what the heck that is I really don't know where to put this one at like I really don't I don't even think I need this because this was for this I believe I guess it kind of Looks like a heat sink. Hmm, weird. You know what? Whatever. I ain't even using that. That's just a cover plate. Doesn't do anything. If anything prevents any airflow from getting in it, at least like this, it's got some kind of airflow or something. I don't know. I'm gonna plug this thing back in and see what happens. Well, should light up right now. I got my other one going. Cool. Here we go. Final read. Sorry for the loudness. Um, 3,122.23 right read and 3145.94 right. That is awesome. That is really awesome. 1,638 for the sequential read. Um, I appreciate you guys uh, watching this video. It's like 14 minutes long. But uh, if I can do this, you can do it too. All right. Have a blessed day, guys.